Hello folks, I'm Odin Spec 33 and welcome to a new Let's Play. Yeah, that's right, new Let's Play today. It's gonna be on the Game Boy, you didn't see that? <laughs> ha ha! Well, what's all these little symbols and some weird logo that I haven't ever seen in my life before? It's the Pokemon trading card game. Holy crap. I'm actually starting this now. So we're gonna hit start. Uh, we're not going to continue from Diary, we're going to start a new game. So, new game. Alright, save data already exists. If you continue, you will lose all the cards you've collected. Oh no! Yes. Alright, see how easy that is? The new Pokemon games, like the actual games, you have to like, do these button combinations to delete your save data. Anyway, I'm just going to be SPAC. That's going to be my name. And then there we go. You know what? Maybe with an exclamation mark. SPAC! Yeah, yeah, exclamation mark. SPAC! It's crazy about Pokemon. Pokemon card collecting. One day he heard a rumor. A legendary Pokemon cards. The extremely rare and powerful powerful cards held by the Pokemon trading card game's greatest players. Grandmasters are searching for one and had the legend. Alright, so. That's our goal. Spack visits the Pokemon card researcher, Dr. Mason. So, the beginning of the game here is a tutorial. It's going to teach you how to play the game. If you've never played the Pokemon trading card game, or even if you have before, uh, this tutorial is helpful because the rules of old are a lot different than the rules of new. Uh, I was going to do a live tutorial where I actually showed the real cards and stuff, but I figured that's too much work to put into a Game Boy game. <laughs> So he's going to give us his practice deck, and uh, the text is going to run extremely slow. I'm going to speed that up as soon as possible. Alright, so we're going to give it a try here. So we're going to duel against Sam. Uh, he's going to be our first opponent, and this is an unlosable duel. <laughs> Alright, so you can ask Sam how to play the game. Uh, he'll tell you the basics of the game. This isn't all the uh, required things. Uh, the stupid part is you have to... Is that all? Yeah, that's fine. What's dumb is you actually have to do this tutorial every time you play the game, even if you know how to play. It's pretty ridiculous, but uh, you can't just be like, hey, I know how to play the game already. Alright, he says uh, if we read the instruction book while we play, it'll be easier to go along. Alright, so Sam's practice deck. So here's how each duel works. Uh, this is a practice, so we're not going to shuffle. Uh, you're going to shuffle every time that you start the game. Uh, but since this, this duel is rigged, um, <laughs> we're going to not shuffle the deck. <laughs> Alright, so here's my hand and Dr. Mason. I wish I, I didn't have to have this. I could just explain it to you on my own. Uh, we have to put a basic Pokemon down as my active Pokemon. Alright, so uh, Dr. Mason is going to recommend Goldeen, and that's what we have to use. Uh, we can use some different controls here to uh, organize cards. You can hit the select button, you know, organize it so energy's at the top, and Pokemon, then your trainer cards. And these all go into the whole depth. Um, I'm just going to take this first episode and just talk about this stuff. <laughs> Alright, talk about the game, not anything that's going on on my channel or anything. I'm going to talk about the game, because this might be the first video you see of me. So, hello, I'm OdinSpack33. And, uh, we're going to play as Goldeen in the arena. Uh, this, like I said, this opening here pretty much sucks. Alright, so we can switch between bench Pokemon, um, and only basic can be placed on the bench at the beginning of the game. So we're going to put Staryu. So there you go, there's Staryu. We have no more Pokemon, just press the B button, okay. So there, it shows our our side is the bottom, and then the uh, top side is Sam, our opponent. Uh, notice he has no benched Pokemon down. And we're putting down prize cards, uh, which we'll go into depth when we get there. <laughs> Alright, so uh, heads, we go first, and like I said, this duel's rigged, so we're going to go first. Uh, like I said, this duel literally plays out the same every time. I was debating just not even putting this in. Because you could look this up if you really wanted to. It's not going to be any different than someone else. Alright, so if we want to attack, we need energy cards, essentially. So we're going to look for energy cards, and we're going to attach them to our Pokemon. Alright, uh, I don't really need to... I just want to let you know that energies can only be placed one a turn. 
can only place one energy per turn unless you have some sort of card that says otherwise. Otherwise, one energy turn. So we want to put water energy on Goldeen. And then we're going to attack using horn attack. Just like that. Bam! Takes 10 damage. Alright, now he's going to go. We can't really do anything during Sam's turn. We just have to wait for him to do whatever. So his Machop can do 20 damage at the cost of one energy. So he's a little more powerful than us. So now it's our turn, and it's rigged, so we're gonna get a water energy. <laughs> Alright, so Goldeen's gonna get knocked out if we leave it in our turn, so we can now evolve our Pokemon. Uh, which will increase its hit points. Alright, it doesn't have enough energy to use Waterfall, so we're gonna attach a Psychic uh, to use uh, Seeking's Waterfall. I'll explain everything right here. Alright, let's play the game. So basically, I, if you are unfamiliar with the rules, by the way, just feel free to watch this over again to see how it goes. I really want to go in-depth with how the trading card game works in case you're unfamiliar so that everyone knows how to play it while I'm going through my project. <laughs> I think that's fair. Uh, you can evolve your Pokemon. Uh, you can only evolve your Pokemon uh, after a turn has passed. You can't evolve any Pokemon on your first turn. And you can't evolve a Pokemon once you've just played it. So if I just played Goldeen, and I'm trying to play Seeking, if I tried playing Seeking right after, that wouldn't work. And you also can't evolve a Pokemon during the same turn where you've already evolved it. Uh, to those familiar with Pokemon, like you can't go from you can't play Charmander, then play Charmeleon, then play Charizard like all in one turn. You can't do that. All right, now we're ta attaching a Psychic Energy to Seeking. Um, why not Water? Well, he has a, a star uh, energy cost for Waterfall. Star is colorless. Any energy will count for colorless. So there you go. Here's Waterfall. This is going to do 30 damage. We're well, going to wreck this guy up right now. Alright, there we go. Now he's going to draw a card from the deck. And once again, this duel is very rigged, so I know exactly what he's going to do. He's going to get a fighting on Rattata, and he's going to... Not retreat. I really thought he was going to retreat. I don't really remember this apparently as much as I thought. All right. So now I drew water energy. So we don't have to attach anymore. Uh, so we're gonna attach energy to our benched Pokemon to get them ready for combat. So we're gonna attach water to start you. All right. If we have to use Horn Attack. It really doesn't matter. I mean, I would always use the most powerful attack <laughs> anyway. Alright, and then when we knock out a Pokemon, we get to pick up a prize card. So that's what the prizes are for. So we're going to attach water to Staryu. And then uh, we're going to use uh, Waterfall, even though I'm going to use Horn Attack. I hope he doesn't pen penalize me for that. I don't think he, I don't think he will. No. So now we get to choose a prize. There's only two in this practice duel. Um, and they're both water energy, so it doesn't matter which one you pick. Uh, once you once you get all of your prizes, once you've like uh, knocked out enough Pokemon that you get to take all your prizes, you win the duel. That's the that's the main objective of the game. I'll go over the other two objectives of winning uh, once we get into the game here. All right, so now you're dro drowsy. All right, and no Pokemon on your bench, you lose the game. You just lost the game. Sorry. <laughs> Dr. Mason just told you, so I can't really do anything about it. Alright, and now we're going to attach water energy to Drowsy because he has another colorless energy cost. Because Drowsy is a psychic Pokemon. Uh, and apparently we're not even going to retreat our Drowsy. There's retreating, which you can do. Um, but apparently Dr. Mason doesn't want us to. Um, see that retreat cost of Star there? If we got rid of one of our energies, we could switch Seeking with one of the Pokemon on our bench. But Dr. Mason, he plays a different ball game apparently. So we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna attack with Waterfall, I guess. He's he's cool with seeking getting knocked out. <laughs> so there we go. Now he's gonna go and he's gonna attach lightning to eradicate. And he's gonna just bite and kill us because Dr. Mason's a moron. <laughs> Alright. So now he gets to draw a prize, and we're going to put someone else in. That's how it works. 
So we're gonna place uh, Staryu as our active Pokemon. Press select to check Pokemon data. I don't really need to do that. That's just telling you that you can. Like, you can press the select button here, and you can check your hand, and you can examine uh, the field. It's, it's helpful when uh, when you're actually playing. It's not really helpful for you watching. <laughs> That's more for me. Alright, so Star Evolves into Starmie. So we're gonna uh, get energies put on him so that when we draw a Starmie, which is gonna happen, um, we're going to be able to use its attacks. So let's get a uh, Water Energy on Staryu here. And then, uh, I think that's it. I think we're just gonna attack here. There we go. This duel is very long. Look, look, it's still going. We're at, like, probably the 8-9 minute marker now. Uh, each, each episode is gonna contain, uh, probably two duels, I think, that will move considerably faster pace than this. <laughs> well, this is just the rules, of course, and the boring tutorial that you have to watch through. Uh, I, I do recommend uh, playing this game, uh, whether it be the real trading card game, uh, the online version. I'm going to put a link to that in the description if you want to play the online version. It's, it's not bad right now. It's okay. Uh, we're going to place a potion on uh, Staryu right here. Uh, so we're going to heal it so it doesn't die next turn, and then we'd, we'd lose. But there's an online version you can play for free. It essentially lets you play a version very similar to this. The rules are a little more updated now because the Pokemon trading card game has evolved uh, since the Game Boy game here. So yeah, I, I recommend uh, checking that out. I've been playing the the actual trading card game recently with my sister, actually. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, we've been collecting the cards just... It's uh, new. You can't use the uh, the old cards anymore. They they're not in the current rotation. <laughs> I don't know all the all the terminology of the Pokemon trading card game or trade or card games in general, but I know that one. <laughs> all right, so we got Starmie because once again, Rick Duel. Uh, so we're gonna use Star Freeze, which doesn't do any more damage than Slap, but it allows the chance for uh, paralysis. Um. And Paralysis will basically make it unable for a Pokemon to take its turn unless they use one of these here, a full heal, or if they uh, leave the field. We'll, once again, we'll go more into depth as the game progresses. I'm only going to really show you the rules that apply at the moment. So, here's Paralysis. Heads, once again, rigged. So, he's not going to be able to do anything. A Pokemon that's paralyzed cannot attack or retreat. Uh, Unless they use some sort of trainer, or they, if you evolve a Pokemon, it gets rid of any special conditions on it like that. Uh, that's only one of four special conditions. Alright, so Chop only has ten hit points left, so we're just going to finish the, the uh, duel here with Star Freeze. We're going to take the last prize, and we're going to win. And I'm getting sick of this, um, this practice duel, so let's just get this over with. And we're going to get heads again here, because... I don't know, the game decides overkill is needed. So, there you go. I feel like I should have be, I should have myself on camera right now. I'm doing so many, like, different hand gestures and whatnot as I'm explaining. I, I hope my voice is communicating it better than what I'm trying to do with my hands, because you can't see those. <laughs> Alright, so that's basically how the trading card game is played. Yeah, um... Uh, yeah, that's the gist of what we just did, Dr. Mason. Alright, this time was just practice, so I had to follow everything. Alright, so after this, thankfully, we don't have to, uh, do any of this. Alright, and now, uh, he's gonna give us a deck. So we got some, uh, cards here. Alright, add some of my own cards. What kind of deck are we gonna make? Alright, we're going to make, uh, I... I always used to choose the Charmander Friends deck, and because of that, I normally when I play now, I usually use Squirtle or Bulbasaur. But it made me think, I really haven't used Charmander in a while, so I'm gonna go with Charmander. Uh, this is just a starter deck anyway, this really doesn't affect much, it's not like regular Pokemon where we can't get Squirtle or Bulbasaur now. We can. <laughs> Alright, so here's, the, we got uh, the Charmander and Friends deck, and then we got 30 other cards, I guess. 
Alright, so we're gonna one of the card clubs. That's the gyms of this game. It's where everything takes place in this game is the different card clubs. Alright, so now I get to finally move around, and the first thing I'm doing is turn up this text speed to fast. There we go. We'll keep the dual animations on. Those are just little effects that show. Alright, so... Here's the card game! <laughs> um, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. Uh, I think it's just going to be the practice duel. We're going to actually... I'm going to show you around the lab here. Uh, Sam here will... He can, you can do the practice duel again. Uh, which I really don't want to do. You can also do the practice duel without the tutorial and you'll get energy cards if you win. And it's really easy to win because you know how. Um, this guy just tells you how to save. Uh, there's a PC over here. Uh, this will show you your card album. Uh, this game, if you've played the Pokemon training card game before, it uses the base jungle and fossil expansions, the original three, uh, which have all the original 151 Pokemon in them. Uh, some of them have different variations. For instance, Pikachu has multiple variations. And then there's also some Game Boy exclusive Pokemon and some uh, promo cards as well. Uh, read mail. Uh, you can uh, talk to Dr. Mason. Uh, he'll he'll basically give you email throughout the game, and he'll send you booster packs, which give you more cards. All right. So when you beat a uh, opponent, and normally you're going to get two booster packs of the exact same booster pack, not necessarily the same card, but two of the same type of booster pack. And we can't do card pop, so I'm not even going to bother explaining it. <laughs> So here's a Colosseum booster pack. So you're going to get one rare card, that's Hitmochan here. You're going to get three uncommon cards, Growlithe, Revive, and Eradicate. And then you're going to get five common cards, um, which are these here. And then you're going to get an energy card. That's usually how uh, every, every booster pack works out. I believe each one has a trainer in it as well, at least one trainer. Which could be any, which could either be common, uncommon, or rare. So yeah, there you go. I feel like I've kind of dragged this episode on for too long. Uh, on the next episode, I'm going to show you around the game. We're going to get into some actual duels. And then I'm going to show you some little tricks for starting up this game too. So I hope you found this video informative as well as entertaining. Uh, it's This isn't a very long game, so it's not going to take me very long to do. Like I said, duels aren't going to be as long as you just saw that practice there. But other than that, thanks for watching. I've been on Spec 33, and I'll see you next time for the Pokemon Trading Card Game. Till then, bye bye.